Hello everyone and I hope you're doing very well. So we're cracking on with our tutorial series for combined arms and today we come to the mighty SA-19 Tunguska and I've been really looking forward to this one because it's such a beast. It's so hard to fly against these things. So what have we got? We've got a radar warning or should I say um, radar search. This dish on the top uh, erects and spins around. I think it's also used for, for guidance of the guns as well. I can't, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure it can track as well as search for the guns. Uh, the missiles are optically guided, well, optically slash radio guided, um, as we'll have a look at. So they're very difficult to beat because they don't give the aircraft any warning that they've been fired. So, anyway, the name uh, 2 Charlie 6 Mike Tunguska, NATO reference SA 19, type is a self prepared propelled air defense system, crew of four. Dimensions, weight 34 tonnes, so that is a heavy vehicle. Uh, we've got an engine of 740 horsepower diesel, so that's pretty powerful actually. Uh, road speed 65 clicks, about 40 miles per hour. Operation, operation range 500 clicks. Armament, 2 times 30 mil, 2 alpha 38 mic cannons. So these are fast, two fast firing 30 mil cannons, they're really powerful. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, two times uh, two missile launchers, each carrying four missiles, which are the 9M311 variant. Uh, gun elevation and depression plus 80 to minus 6 degrees, that's pretty much everything. Launch weight of the missiles, 165 kilos, quite a big missile with a 15 kilo uh, uh, warhead, which is quite a lot, about the same as a Sidewinder from memory. Um, so the same as a, you know, kind of small missile. Uh, max speed that you can shoot down of an aircraft, uh, no sorry that's the missile speed is that, I don't know what Mac that is. Minimum effective range, 1.5 clicks, uh, I dispute that, I've shot stuff much closer than 1.5 clicks so I don't know what that's talking about. Max effective range, 12 clicks, about 8 miles, uh, that's with the missiles. Um, next we've got the minimum effective altitudes down to 10 meters, 30 feet, uh, so you you think you can fly underneath that but I've tried flying and testing I've tried flying underneath 10 meters before and they can still hit me when the AI controls them so they're pretty goddamn deadly these things max effective altitude six clicks or 18,000 feet uh, max target speed uh, I don't know what that is but that's faster than any planes gonna fly I imagine 360 degree turret the ammunition is gun uh, 19 just over 1900 sh uh, shells and eight times missile so that's the baby. Next, let's go and jump in it. So start the mission. We're going to be a tactical commander. We're going to click on the item. We're going to click on the Tunguska. We're going to click on this guy here. And then we go. So first of all, as ever, we go to the adjust controls. Now, the controls for all the combined arms vehicles are the same. There's about 100 controls. There's not many controls. Very easy to learn and they're very simple. So we're not going to go through every single one of them on each vehicle that we look at because it's just each vehicle is going to end up being half an hour so I'm going to assume that you've already learned your controls here and I'll just go through the main ones um, as I go so first of all let's have a look at the views so here is our basic I'm just going to turn the sounds down a bit because that's going to be a bit loud for us here is our basic F1 view with the F1 view we when I say F1 I mean press the button F1 you get this view you can toggle between inside and outside with the insert key there's the insert key and you can get outside. Now that also changes the field of view a lot, so it's something you're going to be doing a lot. And then inside. So what I like to do for searching, visually, uh, out here like this, find the guy, press insert, and then we get to the kind of close in zoom view. With this vehicle, the zoom buttons do not work. Uh, the zoom in narrow field of view button doesn't work, and the plus or minus buttons don't work. It's just how this vehicle is. Uh, F2 view will lock you to the nearest plane, I believe. F7 gives you the outside where the mouse now moves the camera rather than the vehicle turret. We zoom in with the mouse will scroll. Back to F1 view. So if we're outside here, now with F1 view, either insert inside or insert outside, we move the turret with the mouse. Now you can set your joysticks up, but I suggest just using the mouse. Um, and, and I should say all of the commands, all of the 
adjustable controls I've just left as standard and I advise that you guys leave them as standard as well it's up to you but uh, it's just uh, the most efficient way I found of doing it uh, another view we've got is right control and F10 and we get this view here just gonna pause that to make it quieter here is our B sweep so this is our, our, our scan sweep here and you can see it's picking up hostiles there and there giving us their vectors if you want to know a bit more about them we can actually lock on to them uh, so I'm going to unpause, I'm going to click on this guy here, it's not letting me get that guy for some reason, so let me just get that guy. We're now tracking him with the radar, um, and we can see his speed is that, his altitude is that, distance, azimuth, uh, and the gun, we've, we've currently got our gun selected here, we'll go through that later. We've got our range, we can go between, uh, search range between 10 and 20 miles. Mission, we can click that R off on and off if we want to turn our radar on and off uh, if we are hiding from um, seed missiles or something we can actually fire the gun from here so if I went unpause you can see and uh, we've once we've got a lock from here we acquire the lock you can see it's all done automatically we've got our green lock here and our in range here uh, within the range of the gun you can see is 700 and, uh, we're never actually going to hit him at two kilometers but that is technically in range and we can fire the gun pa 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 uh, and that's it, but it's pretty boring firing from here. So you don't need really use this just for situational awareness, I think. For shooting the things you really want to, uh, to see yourself. So F1, back to here. You can see I'm firing bullets wherever I'm firing bullets. Currently, we've currently locked onto a guy. So to lock onto a guy and unlock onto a guy from this view, we press backspace to unlock and return to lock. So I'm just going to unlock with backspace. That's where he was. Okay, uh, next, let me think what we should, you, we've done the views, next we should look at moving the vehicles, so we're going to press, if we go, what's the best way to do this, uh, uh, pause, insert, I can move the vehicle with W to go forwards, uh, first I need to put it in gear, so X to put it in forwards gear, Z to put it in reverse, W for forward, D for turn right, A for turn left, and S for brake. If we want to go in reverse, Z to neutral, Z to reverse, and then W to go backwards. And let's break. Let's put that back in neutral. So that's how we can move the thing. So next comes the fun bit, the shooting stuff down. Well, first of all, we've got the cannons we can use, or we can use the missiles. We can't use them both at once. In fact, we should look at the screen. Let me get my cursor up. So here is our... Well, our search radar and it spins around the, the B sweep you can see it spins round and highlights the targets the targets are there and there in this case there is the range and you can change the range the controls are there in the adjustable menu here is the current azimuth of the turret where the turret sensor is facing um, and obviously we've got our north there and whatnot and we can see that our actual vehicle body is facing at 203 uh, bearing there our AI formation is currently on column even though we're only a single unit in this group and our ROE AI ROE is hold obviously we can uh, exceed that because we are human next is the currently selected weapon here we change between weapons with the E key so echo missile guns uh, here is the gear that we're in it's drive neutral or reverse here's the speed we're doing in miles per hour here's the azimuth that the vehicle body is facing at here is the turret's uh, relationship to the body and the body's relationship to north. And here is our health of our vehicle, probably in hit points, so I don't really know. Here is the heading tape for our turret. So our turret, uh, if I can move it, I need to turn the cursor off. It's like that. Okay, so we've done movement, we've done views, we've explained uh, the telemetry. Now we need to shoot some stuff down, which of course is the fun bit. So, uh, first of all, we look at our gun. It's a radar guided gun. Per well, it, in that it gives you a. We can lock onto a target with our radar and track it, and it will tell you where you need to shoot. It will compute the lead for you, but you physically need to actually aim that gun. So, what we're going to do is we're going to find uh, a hostile now. Now, the way I like to do this is. Um, stay in this outside view, find a target via the top left radar, so we can do it like that, okay, that's in there, then we're going to zoom in with um, uh, insert, then we're going to hover over and press the enter return key, and stop, look at the bottom left, you can see it's acquiring target, it takes about four seconds, and his range, unpause as it acquires the target, Acquired the target and you can see the brackets have gone red and we can now fire and it's saying that he's in range at the bottom left so all we do now is left mouse button to fire but uh, we need to look at our computed lead which is going to be out in front of him somewhere so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press insert just to get a better field of view 
and you can see there is his lead now reality uh, is he's 2.5 kilometers away we're not going to hit him with guns it's just not possible uh, but we'll give it a shot anyway just for the fun so what we're going to do is basically aim at that radar computed um doodly what's it and just purely out of interest as well so the spinning radar i believe is the search radar and the lock radar i think is that kind of round big round drum sensor on the front i stand to be corrected of course but that's my interpretation of what the track uh actual track is so let's go back to f1 uh right to see if we can have a pop at him shall we left mouse click to pop and you can see he's so far away look how long the bullets would have to take to get him it's simply not an impossible shot let's see if he comes closer we might get him you never know it's jolly good fun either let's speed it up here he comes look you can see that how that lead, how as he gets closer, the lead is getting a lot smaller. It's getting down to a thousand meters. It's one kilometer away. We're just about getting in realistic range now. And I could probably. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. I think you need to. You just need a bit of practice for this. Yeah, I'm not very good, obviously. Anyway, that's the gun. Next, we're going to go on to the missile. So we're going to press the echo key. Uh, this is even harder. So what we're going to do is hover the cursor above the target, like this. Press enter, press return, whatever you want to call it. Wait till it's locked. Takes about seven seconds for the radar to lock or, or whatever it is. And pow. Now, this is a bit more interesting. The first thing I'm going to do once we've got our lock is to zoom in with the missile uh, because we need this uh, degree of accuracy. So it's given us a lead. Um, uh, if I can get my cursor up, a predicted lead there. Now, these missiles are actually radio controlled, like flying a radio controlled airplane. Wherever I point my cursor, uh, my screen, let me just try and show you the screen, wherever I point this black dot, is where the missile is going to fly. It's really weird, I know, and it's really hard. So basically, when I press the fire button, I've got to drive this missile with this, giving it the correct lead, so that it travels close enough to that Su-27, so that the proximity fuse will fire, and it will hit him. It's really hard, but really fun. Okay, and you can actually see the missile kind of following. If you've ever used an RB-05 on a Vigan, it's basically like that. Except we've got a, um, a sideways proximity fuse to fire. So uh, the radar suggests we fire aim at that little uh, predictor circle, the, the the orange one. I like to do my own aiming though, so I'm going to do my own. Let's see if we can hit the swine. And when he's moving left to right like this, uh, very hard to hit him, but we'll give it a shot anyway for the lols. So fire, guide it, and we've missed. Uh, so it does require a lot of skill. I have... Because the camera's on, I'm probably just going to keep missing now, but I have managed to shoot these planes down in testing. Uh, if he ever goes out of the screen, insert. Get him locked up again, insert. And wait for the moment, wait for the moment. Got to wait until he's not going fast left to right, like now, which is, may never happen because of how I've got him set up. So maybe we'll just take another pop. Or maybe we'll see if we can get him coming close to us. Kind of left, less left to right. Okay, he's coming in again. Let's have another pop. Mm, now. Lead it, lead it, lead it, lead it, lead it, lead it, lead it. Ah, missed again. Damn it. That is annoying. Okay, let's let him go again. Uh, if I can get him on the, on the down one. Like that, maybe. That might work. Watch this. Oh, we're, uh, uh, you see at the uh, bottom right, it's tracking missiles. So our previous missile is still active, and we can't cancel it as far as I'm aware. So we're just going to wait, which is really annoying, because I wanted to pop it there. There we go, and pop. Come on, baby. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. Oh, sure I had him that time. I look like a complete idiot. It's just not that easy. <sighs> oh, like I said, I did manage to get it working before, but this is just not meant to be. Okay, he's two clicks out. Let's see if we can get a pop on him here. Damn it. This is it. This is the one. Come on. Come on, it's two and a half clicks out. This is the one. Turn in, turn in, sir. Here we go. Watch, watch this. Ah! 
Uh, it's gonna hit him. Ah. That is so frustrating. All right, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Uh, like I said, I did get it working. You just need to get it close enough that the proximity fuse. It's so annoying because if you fight an AI Tunguska, they just absolutely wreck you from any range constantly. And then when you try doing it yourself, it's really hard. Sod it, one more go. And that's definitely the last time, though. That's him. That's it. That's it. That's it. Right, gonna get everything set up this time. Watch this. Ah, so hard. You bastard. Uh, now your note, uh, I guess my mouse just waves about too much. Uh, now your note, there are some things here that you think might help. Turret to current direction lock. So that will turn the turret to the current direction. And target, uh, to track target on and off. But if you actually try those things, neither of them actually help. So if I wanted to right shift an L to uh, track target, for instance. Doesn't actually do anything. And if I wanted to press uh, the other one, which was uh, the turn to current direction of lock. And try that. V doesn't actually do anything either. So it appears that it has to be just a skill on your own, basically. Uh, have another pop this guy, look. Bollocks. Just not meant to be. Never mind. It does actually work if you if you know what you're doing. Um, so go and do it and it's actually really good fun. Right. I uh, think that's all we've got for the Tunguska. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that and see you later.